Okay, I'm back with you, and we had made this design in IQ Designer. Um, right now, I'm at my edit screen. I could go to embroider if I want, but I'm missing something. How can I finish my little critter here if he's not on the screen? So what I do is I hit add, just like you would in any other area. I'm gonna go to my flash drive because that's where he's at. And I'm going to grab him right here. There he is in preview mode. Go down here and set him. And now there he is with a red blot on his cheek. Now are we gonna make that red? No, we are not gonna make that red. We're gonna make it white because we want it to match the item behind it, okay? So my first color I could change at this point or just keep in my mind that that's what I need is white, okay? So I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna to go to embroidery. And my first color needs to be white and it needs to be this thread that I had previously chosen. So I'm gonna pause while I thread the machine. Okay, so I'm back. As you can see, my machine's telling me I need red thread, but you and I both know that I need white thread, which is what I've put on. I've also chosen a thread that is very similar to the fabric I'm putting it on. Now, we talked earlier about you could use this to fix a shirt. If you had a navy blue shirt that you wanted to cover up a previous name and embroider over, this would be an easy way to do it. You scan the shirt in, you use your pen down here and your brush, and you just paint over it. Um, but we've chosen white because we're going to cover this hole that's already here. Now, I can't just leave a blank hole. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to steal some of my stabilizer down here from the corner of my project. Just going to cut myself a little piece. I've cut him out here and I'm gonna gently slide him underneath this hoop where that hole is, okay? I'll try and get over here where you can see maybe from the side. We want that to go clear back underneath that hole. And now he is underneath there, okay? And it's very difficult to see, but there is actually stabilizer laying underneath there. So that's a method that we call floating. We've floated the stabilizer underneath the project I'm going to put the foot down and I'm going to push start and let it go where it needs to go. It's going to start stitching in a neat little area right outside that hole that I accidentally created when I made my mistakes. There's that underlayment stitches that we talked about. And now it's stitching across them. Now, am I thrilled that I have to have a cover up on my design? No, but in Sharon's case, she had a blanket that was an expensive eight o'clock blanket and it was a special treat for someone that's getting a new baby and she'd already done six designs and did not want to start over. So this was a great alternative for her and it really did not show up at all on that cotton blanket because of the weave fill. It was amazing. you can see it's filling right over that hole. Stops, ties in place, cut the thread, kick that jump stitch loose, and ta-da, there you have it. Now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna clean up my mess. So I'm gonna do that real quickly and I'll be right back. Okay, so I cleaned up the extra threads and things that were out here. I'm ready to start stitching where I left off, but I need to back up a little bit because I've actually stitched over some of what was already there. So I could go into the yellow step and do some of that. I'm going to choose not to um, because I feel like the rest of the design will cover most of that up, but I do need to go back and start on his little face right up here, okay? So that color, in order to do that, I'm going to go to my needle plus and minus at the bottom. Over here on the right, you will see a preview in the window of what it's getting ready to sew next. And I just hit down until I get to his face. Okay? Then I'm going to put my foot down and I'm going to hit start. And it's going to go right back where it started before, only this time I remember to get my thread and my take up arm. And off it goes. Again. 
again, I'm not saying that this was the ideal way to do it, but it was better than wasting the item. And on the cotton blanket, you could barely see it. I might have her bring it in and I'll take a picture and post it with it. Pretty impressive, huh? Okay, so I'm going to go away for a little bit and finish this design, and when it's all done, I'll show you how it turned out. So there you have your finished project, and if you look, you can see where it's at, but that's sure a lot better than having to redo an entire project. And so for today, that's Trish at Robinson Sewing Bat. Hope you had fun and hope you enjoyed.